Hi, Michael Wolf, PGI Compiler Engineer. This is the second in a series of short videos on your very first introduction to parallel programming with OpenACC. In our last video, we built and executed a sequential Jacobi Iterative Solver on the system I have here, both in C++ and Fortran. And then we built the program for parallel execution on a multi-core, but we didn't execute it yet. So let's do that now. What I'm going to do, because I'm going to make several versions of this program is have, make some experimental directories and build these things in the directories. Here's my C++ version of the program where I have already added the OpenACC parallel directives for the parallel loops that I need to want to execute on the multi-core. I'm going to build this again for parallel execution. using the TA equals multi-core option and the mInfo equals Excel. And this will now build and execute the program with my 1,000 by 1,000 uh, matrix. Well, that runs a heck of a lot faster than the previous case. In the sequential program, the times I saved above was 6.9 seconds. And now it's running in, looks like, 0.7 seconds here at the bottom. That's pretty good. That's a speed up of, although well, my computation, almost 10. What kind of system am I running on here? Well, we have a utility, PG CPU ID, that will give you details about the processor you're running on. On this particular system, it's 64 cores, well, 64 processors to the operating system. It's actually 32 physical cores, a dual socket 16 core Haswell with two-thread hyper-threading. So from the point of view of the operating system, it looks like 64 cores. The OpenACC default is to use one processor thread for each physical core. So it's running on 32 cores with 32 threads. Maybe I want to run a larger matrix. So I'm going to run instead of a 1,000 by 1,000 matrix, a 2,000 by 2,000 matrix, and increase the maximum iteration count as well. And the performance I'm going to get here is, well, now it's running in 2.9 seconds. Let me save that time as well. Now you're going to ask, what's the speed up over the sequential execution? Because I didn't actually save that time. So if I go back to my previous uh, directory, and build the sequential program again. You'll see it's a lot slower. Let's just uh, skip to the end. So the sequential program took 52 seconds versus three seconds, under three seconds. That's a speed up of, well, heck, it's closing in on speed up of 20, which is pretty good for 32 threads. So what if you want to run on a different number of cores? What if you want to use more cores, say one thread per actual hardware thread? Or maybe you want to run with fewer threads because you want to make a speed up curve because you're an academic. Well, you can do that with the setting an environment variable, ACC num cores, to whatever number you like. The default was one thread per physical core, which on the system I have here is 32. What if I want to run it on, say, 16? Then I can... Uh, take the same program, run now on 16 cores, and I'm going to guess it's going to take about twice as long as the 2.9 seconds we had before. And here it is, 4.8, so a little bit better than twice as fast. What if I want to run on, say, uh, say 60 cores? In this case, it should run even better. Now, I will admit, not a heck of a lot better. We've seen mixed results using Intel hyperthreads for parallel execution. Sometimes it works really well sometimes not so well, which is why the default for OpenACC is one thread per physical core. Let's look again at the Fortran program. Again, I have the, the program with the directives already inserted, the parallel loop, the loop reduction, the parallel loop reduction. All I need to do is to build this for parallel execution. The time we had for parallel execution in the Fortran was just under four seconds. When I run this in parallel now, it's uh, 0.7 seconds. 
So a speed up of about, well, of about uh, five. If I run this with a larger system, it uh, obviously takes longer and the whole program takes 1.4 seconds. So now what's interesting here is the larger system, because it's the matrix vector multiply is an n squared operation, I'm doing four times as much work, but it's only taking two times as long. And the reason is parallel execution. You get more efficiency the more parallel the program is. Now the question for you, the listener, is I have a parallel program. I'm running this in parallel on my multi-core. Now I want to run it on a GPU. It's relatively easy to do that. Can you make the next step to make it run on a GPU? We will do that in the next video. <laughs>